What is up YouTube? Nuked Penguin here bringing you another tips and tricks video on editing with the video software that comes with Roxio Game Capture HD Pro known as VideoWave. I think the full name of it is Roxio VideoWave, but whatever you want to call it, I call it my editing software. So, we'll just go ahead and open that. To open that, you you know, you bring up the main Roxio Game Capture HD Pro menu. Uh, this will also work for the original Roxio Game Capture uh, device because it's the same editing program. Not much has changed. Okay, so we're going to create a new production. Let's have it set to widescreen. We're going to click OK. Uh, if I am a bit sluggish on this, it's because I'm using my trackpad instead of a mouse, which I usually use. So, first of all, you want to have your video. Uh, I have an Assassin's Creed online let's play that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. Uh, let's see, raw footage. And we'll go ahead and open that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring in your audio, of course, if you're doing live commentary. Uh, let's see, Assassin's Creed 4. PO Multi. All right. And we're going to set that on the music track for now. Now, I'm going to cut ahead to where I have the audio and the video synced. Uh, if you want to learn how to sync the audio and video with your live commentary such and that, I can talk. If you want to learn how to sync live commentary with your gameplay videos using the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, go ahead and check out the video. The annotation should be over the preview window in this video here. So like where you see what looks like the Xbox 360, which it is. Um, go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and watch it. Uh, you can come back when you're done. All right. So now that you have done that, synced your audio, as you can see, your screen should look somewhat like mine, where you have your beginning of your recording at the start of your sync point, And hopefully you have it just the way you want it. Now, I should preface this tutorial with the fact that I am actually doing it at the request of a YouTube user named Pooh Master Flex. Why he chose that YouTube name, I don't know. Go figure. Some people may want to flex their poo and be masters of it. Either way, uh, he wanted to know how you cut up multiple episodes from a decently long recording. For example, if you're recording a Let's Play and you want to record for an hour and you want to put do four 15-minute episodes in that hour, you're obviously going to have your episodes timed. Now, the first thing you want to do is create an intro. Make sure you have an intro and an outro for your 15 minute segment. When you want to start recording, record your intro. And then what you'll do is you'll keep an eye on the, like the length of time in the preview window for your recording, which looks like this. This little time right here should tell you how long you've been recording. So when you approach 15 minutes past the number you started at, that's when you should start doing your outro. If you want 15 minute episodes, you can do longer. I don't care. It's up to you. But as long as you have an intro and then an outro, you should be able to handle this editing tutorial pretty well. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your intro. And to do that, just scrub through until you see bits that you recognize. Let's listen. Okay, no outro there, or intro there. So let's scan along. Let's go to two minutes, or around two minutes. You redito credits. Well, at least it's not a whole pay as you play thing. Okay, so it looks like that is some point in my video where I have started talking. So let me guess my arounds where I've been talking, or started talking. Multiplayer. Right before that. It may be different for you, obviously. For it, and I figured... Nope. Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, YouTube, Nuked Penguin here, and I... Right there, right around there is where my intro started. So let's go ahead and do that. What? Yep, a yeah, few seconds before. All right. So once you have this little line right here, at the point where you want to start your video... You select your video and click split. And 
depending on how long your video is, it may take a little longer if it's a larger file, it should split it up into a manageable chunk. Now, you see this right here? This is the start of your actual video. All this to the left of it, unnecessary. For now, just leave it there. We're gonna find the outro to this 15 minutes or 10 minute segment. Actually, it's a little longer since the match, each match is 10 minutes and yada yada. It, it honestly is dependent on your video. Uh, there I can see I have about four minutes and some odd seconds remaining. So let's go ahead and jump to 12-ish. Uh, not quite, not quite, nine seconds left, so we'll jump to here, it's three, and there's zero, so we'll listen, Let me, oh, good, I didn't know if he was in second or not, oh no, they weren't in second, okay, well, <clears throat> that was a good way, now, I'm gonna pause here and let you guys know right now, I haven't edited the actual game audio or my speaking volume at all, uh, just due to the fact that I'm trying to make a quick tutorial before I have to go to class. So, you know, before when when you're syncing up your audio, make sure you get the audio levels what you want them to be at. Way to end my, uh, my scenes. I'm wondering if they just pasted it and like changed or what, but, Again, I digress. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Online. Just like with your intro, you're going to want to set the line right after the point you want to end your video. If you're doing episodes and you have uh, an hour-long recording, it's very, very important to have intros and outros. I cannot stress that enough. It takes some practice getting used to doing outros every 15 minutes and like checking on your time when you're recording. But if you're passionate about doing game videos for YouTube it will become a reflex for you eventually. So once again, we'll hit the split button. And it should split. And we'll go ahead and scan for the intro to the next episode, which I believe was a couple of minutes later. Um, I only record two episodes in this length of video. So... And my dad was calling someone. Um... I only record two episodes in this length of video, so we're going to go ahead and find the intro for the next episode. Uh, that is much too early, I think. Yeah, that's like 9 minutes 56 seconds, so let's go ahead and jump back. Which I hope you all watch and enjoy. What place he came in last game. And let's see what my competition is. Almost found it. Loading game session. What is up? Oh, it was right after loading game session. Loading game session. What? This is actually right before that. Loading game session. You know what? For this intro to this video, I'm going to have loading game session be the intro. And we'll go ahead and split it there for just the sake of this tutorial. It's not perfect, but that's, you know, whatever. So, you now have the beginning to your second episode. So, I'll scan through, and it should be towards the end of the video for me. Listen. No, nope, no talking. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys will continue to watch my videos and support me. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Online. So... We'll split up that last bit. That is the outro to the second episode of this entire length of video. Sorry, I'm a little sick right now, so bear with me. So, if you followed my instructions in the syncing uh, uh, audio commentary to, or t syncing live comment, bleh, I can talk, syncing live commentary to the gameplay video, your editing should still have all the audio synced because it's on an internal track within the main uncut huge video. So, now that we split up our episodes, and you may have more episodes, I doubt you'd have less than two if you're looking at this tutorial, um, now we're gonna zoom out as far as we possibly can. 
that may be too much. Okay, that. Uh, okay, no, that'll work. All right. So now you see the chunks of video as it's all cut from the larger portion. What you're going to start doing is you're going to start cutting by selecting and clicking delete all your unnecessary portions. And we're going to delete that one. And we're finally going to delete, oops, I just bumped the mic with my other mic. And we're going to select that one that way because it's kind of small. You usually will have bigger chunks. If you have trouble selecting a smaller chunk, go ahead and zoom into it. So now you see your all your episodes lined up, perfectly cut, synced, and ready to be exported. Now, what I think Poomaster Flex really wanted to know was how do you export these without losing your cut up it's perfect you basically your preliminary I'm trying to think of how to word this how do you export each episode without losing the rest of the episodes as they are perfectly cut what you're going to do is you're going to select file save as and for tutorial sake I'm just going to save this to my desktop we are going to save it as tutorial to uncut. What I like to usually name mine is actually you know, LPO, which is my abbreviation for Let's Play Online, AC4 Uncut Tutorial. If I can type tutorial. There we go. Normally I would exclude tutorial. And I just have LPO AC4 uncut. That means that all the episodes are lined up ready to go. So I'm going to save that. Now, for sake of time, I'm not going to sit through an exporting process. But you're going to want to export your episodes one right after the other. So what you're going to do is after you saved, make sure you save. That's very important so you don't lose the progress. You're going to delete all the episodes that you don't want to export. In which case, I just go in order from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. Okay. So we're going to delete that. And that should leave one episode left for me to export. You're going to click on your export button. You're going to select no at this point. Because you do not want to save the changes you've made. And you're going to choose your export quality, whatever you know you normally work with, whatever you like to export in. Usually it takes some experimentation to find what you're comfortable with, what you think looks good. I just normally choose Windows Media Video 9, 1280 by 720. That's what all my YouTube videos have been in. So we're going to click that. And then you're going to name it a different file name. You're going to name it, for example, Episode 1. For me, it would be LPO AC4 Episode 1. Ah, shoot, no. There we go. Episode 1. And then you're going to hit Create Video File. For the purpose of this, we're not going to let it run. But after it has created the video file and it's done, you'll see the preview button light up. You can preview it if you want it. You're going to click close immediately from here after you've saved it and choose your file location, all that stuff. And then you're going to click file and open production. Click no. And then open your uncut lined up episodes. That brings everything back to what it was before that. You're going to click delete on the first episode, so you just have the second episode isolated. Export, follow all the same instructions, no. Choose your export. And then click create, or title it. This one would be LPOAC4 episode 2 for me. Again, it depended on your video. You're going to create video file. Once it's exported, you'll click close. And then you're free to close the program. I like to leave all my episodes lined up just in case I ever need to re-upload one. 
In which case, when I close the program, I select no to making changes on my, you know, on my uncut thing. I'm still getting used to doing tutorials. I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And I, I, I can talk, especially thank Poo Master Flex, weird name, for creating or giving, providing me with the idea for this video because I, I never thought that that would be something that would require a tutorial, but then again, you know, it's the world, you don't know. Um, if you guys have any ideas for any more tutorial videos with the editing, if you have any questions on what you can do with the editing software that comes with the Roxio Game Capture Pro, I will gladly create a tutorial for you. Just go ahead and message me or leave it in the comments and I'll, you know, I'll uh, make a video for it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you guys watch my other videos.